everybody, but as soon as you'd speak, everybody in the town would know who you were, kind of thing. Because you must remember, all the shops in the town, the families lived there. It wasn't like today, There's, there are no families living, very few living with, in, with their business. But in those days, every business house in the town, the family was resident with their business. So um, it was a totally different concept in, with uh, what town life was like and what life was like for us. A little friction between the townies, as we called them, and the country people, all right, but uh, good, friends in, good friends in the town as well. But then at the, the different times, like there was no such thing as knives or guns. Or, Anything like that, you imitate cowboys, all right, so that's when the, when the films came along. But uh, they didn't come until uh, the 1940s. Uh, Travelling film company came and set up in Edwardsley in Bartonhouse, and we used to go in on a Sunday evening or Sunday night to the films and the cowboys, Gene Archery, and hop it on Cassidy, etc., like you know. so. <coughs> that was that, that was the only invitation we had as far as guns or anything concerned. My father always had a gun for shooting rabbits and throws in the car or anything like that. But otherwise, otherwise, none of the eight murder or anything else. You could leave your door open. We had, uh, many farmers had half doors. We had a half door in ours. That was only to keep out the hens from going into the kitchen. But. Uh, uh, Doors are probably hardly ever locked even at night. Different times. 